COVID-19 pandemic chronology video, COVID-19 pandemic in my life updates for today, Thursday. Ooh, what day? 16 February, 2023. Uh, first, I wrote and published on Wikipedia. I still have more to do for general upkeep writing. So I'm writing about the 2023 Atlantic Coast Conference and Southeastern Conference Swimming and Diving Championships, both men, men's and women. I have at least one man in each of those and at least one woman in each of those. 50-50 American and international and 50-50 male female. It's like, so do something right this year. Don't. Okay, um, so the preliminaries are done, and by the time this is published, the finals will probably have started. But uh, I, as of filming this, also, <laughs> oh, 16, Thursday, 16 February 2023, in the city of Shoreline, Washington State, United States of America, Planet Earth, the original. As of filming this, I have finished the preliminaries session writing, unless I go back and wordsmith stuff kind of thing. Um, and so I have the finals to write about for the day. And then, so that's first update. Second update, concerns about upcoming field work. So next week, these championships are going on for other athletic conferences. And one is going on for the Pac-12 conference at King County Aquatic Center. That way, 45 minutes to two hours, depending on traffic. And so I wanna go and see if I can get some pictures of people. Uh, do that next week and then the following week. Uh, a week in a day and two weeks in a day. I'm planning on going down Friday. Uh, concerns over some logistics. So do I have concerns? Yes. They don't do <laughs> the psych sheets. So are not the same as a heat sheet. A heat sheet in swimming is something that breaks down. Here's heat one, heat two, heat three, and here are the lane assignments for each person. They don't have that online for the current stuff going on, and I don't know if they will. I'm going to guess they might not. Um, for the Pac-12 championships, it makes it very difficult to find certain people. Right? If there's 70 people competing in one event, how am I going to know what the person's, which person to take a picture of? All right, I'm taking a picture of one of those 70 people. Uh, so there's, um, if they put the names up on like the timing board, that makes it better. It me like, I guess. I'll find out next Friday if I get in kind of thing. Um, I'll find out if it's uh, put on the scoreboard, like when the people walk on the pool deck, do they put the names up with the lanes? Um, I'm gonna, if that's the case, I'm gonna, either way, whether there are heat sheets or not, it's gonna be, require a lot of attention to just find the people, let alone get a good picture. So I still, I'm like, if I get any, any picture out of this, it's a miracle. So first concern is getting picture, or that that's one concern. Another concern is I want to pay cash because I have I cleaned house today. I got my $30 to cover the entrance fee both for both of the competitions I went, I'm planning on doing field work at. Um, I don't, don't, I have a, when I called, it sounded like I could pay cash. They didn't actually even mention. I found online that it's possible to purchase tickets for the event in advance, but they didn't even mention buying tickets in advance when I called. So I'm guessing there's a bit of like the local residents pay cash. And like I, I would like if I had to buy a ticket online, I'm gonna guess they would have told me when I called and asked about it. So I'm gonna guess that's fine. But it is possible to buy tickets online, so I could do that if I wanted to. Um, so I'm, that's something I'm thinking about is if I want to buy tickets in advance or just pay at the door. And if I can't pay at the door, right, there's always the, well, then can I buy a ticket? Like, make, I already sent an email to myself with the websites um, and ticket, in, like, links um, on my phone. So if I did have to buy a ticket at the door online, I already have that information in an email. So I can literally just click on the link in an email. So I've already thought this through. I already have that. But I, I also don't know. Um, then there's the car stuff. Just, I can park at, at this aquatic center, right? Uh, I, I don't know because I haven't attended, but that kind of thing. I also don't know. So last year in some of the video clips I saw, there wasn't a whole lot of people there. It was publicized as requiring a vaccination, or uh, you had to have a vaccine to attend to the residents. Like the King County Aquatic Center like website was like 
no attack no no coming unless you're vaccinated like vaccine card required i don't know if that was enforced or not but there wasn't oh necessarily a whole lot of people and that might have been because that's at least what, how it was publicized this year that has not been publicized as a requirement so if it turns out to be a requirement i won't be going i'm planning on going in the morning it's the preliminary session and i have no idea how many people will be there the preliminary sessions are turning out to be on um, in writing and publishing they're a little bit there are a few hours. Um, I don't know if it'll be a few hours with the Pac-12 championships, the days I go. Um, it's a very muggy pool deck. It's kind of, it gets really hot. So it's just going to be interesting. If I get in, like, it's just going to be an interesting experience. That's how I'll leave it. And then my third update for the day that's kind of related is food, sweet eats, and savory eats. What are the future of those videos? Um... Well, I've had food poisoning, which gets, it brushes on the fourth update. Um, and my, so right now, eating a bunch of food for like sweet and savory eats doesn't necessarily sound that appealing, to be 100% honest. And I, I need to think, be very methodical perhaps in financing. I have, I got my car insurance bill, I think it was yesterday, like last night. And I've already printed out my insurance card, but I need to pay that bill. So I'm thinking about potentially buying tickets this weekend and paying off my car insurance or doing one under or both of those things. Um, so once I've paid off my car insurance, my next car insurance bill is due. So the car insurance bill is due March 24, but I pay it early. Um, and then my next bill, so I'm billed every six months. So in September is the next bill. So I'll know once I've paid that bill, how much money I have and how much money I'm making. Um, I do have some, I, I should <laughs> have some leftover Christmas money um, that I could potentially put into the sweet and savory eats. I just, um, so I kind of came up with a list of things I wanted to do in February and March of this year, 2023. So it might be a bit of a push and then not so many, but that's okay. It, it wasn't meant to become like the bulk content of this channel anyway. Um, I just came up with a bunch of ideas. And so it might be right away, but it might also be... Like, I had thought about going to Red Robin this coming Monday. I might still do that. If I don't do it on Monday, it might be, like, a couple weeks later or something like that. Or it might be April. Uh, I, I still want to do the things I've brought up. It just might not be the same time I was going to do them. I do want to, this is related to the last update, I do want to do a sweet and or savory eats, at least one of those, for each of the days I do field work. Because... I don't want to get lightheaded while taking pictures. I won't be on the tennis set with PMS modifications or the tennis set anyway. At least it's not the plan. Um, better to have a little extra energy and gain a little weight and be well fed or at least be well fed. I might not gain weight with camping. There's maintenance um, and potentially get a picture or two or something than not. I, I, I don't want a lack of food to be a reason I don't get a picture. <laughs> so uh, I, I would still like to do those ones at least um, at when I at the originally timed originally planned time so that, that's kind of update is I, I might have money for my sweet and savory eats but it won't be the bulk of this channel those are um, yeah at least at this point in time um, as, as far as I can tell kind of thing and then up fourth um, and that that is pandemic related uh, because well, the direct pandemic is, I, some of these places I go, the storefronts close, so I can't eat in restaurants. <laughs> um, the, it, it, and where I, I used to not be able to do these videos because I couldn't go and get stuff because restaurants required people to have vaccines. So there was a good, was a, like a year or more, I was banned from even eating in restaurant because I didn't have vaccine. Um, so having a vaccine comes with privileges and being able to eat in restaurants all one has to do is show a card versus the rest of us uh, weren't even allowed right? um, we were banned so yeah share that in common with the russians understanding of what it means to not be allowed in a place <laughs> or a lot of places so not the same thing but it is the same thing in terms of being banned and not allowed in and being turned down if one goes without a vaccine so yeah, I'm taking advantage of this lull in cases <laughs> for COVID-19 and being able to go to restaurants and eat in restaurants, which I was not able to do for one to two years because of not having a vaccine. 
Um, and before not having a vaccine, restaurants closed down for everybody. Um, so yeah. And then fourth update, checking in for day 11 of uh, pandemic weight debt regulation plan, uh, I planned 14 days. Yesterday I got food poisoning and I applied the Tannis diet modifications or modifications to the Tannis diet and the Tannis diet with PMS modifications, which is the one I'm on currently, uh, for food poisoning, which is 2,500 to 4,000 more calories in the day and getting as much exercise done as I can, which was over half. Um, and so I, I, I did that and I formulized those modifications. I've had food poisoning before and while kind of fine tuning the tan site, um, but it worked and has worked. So I shared that in a video form. Um, so that's on this channel, at least currently <laughs> um, in the Tannis diet uh, playlist and in video, just a video. Um, so yeah, it, it's, it's going well, however, uh, my system got a little shook by some combination of the things I ate and how it appealed to my system. Because I've been eating the same thing as my parents, or the, it, the things I don't eat that are the same are the same I eat day to day. So clearly it was just something that my system couldn't handle as opposed to something that we all got sick from. So um, I think it was just a bunch of different things that I had eaten and it just combined and my system was like, ooh, and so I pooped a bunch more and I was like, whoa, that's not, that's way more poop. And then I was like starving kind of, and I was like, that's way too hungry for this diet. And I was like, oh, I've pooped out more of like the food I ate. I need more nutrients and calories. So the increase in calories and just getting through the days to accommodate the food that just went straight through the system and as well as, um, loose bowels, which might make it difficult to exercise. So it still counts as a day on a tennis diet with PMS modifications or the tennis diet. I just had to apply food poisoning modifications. So those are my four updates for today. Happy Thursday.